Hey, Jennifer Stewart here. And today I wanna to chat with you about five ways that you can help your child to be more grateful and thankful for what they have and just for their life in general. All right, so number one is you are the example for your kids, right? So whether or not that we want them to copy us, they will. That's just the way it is. So you want to model being grateful and thankful. So talk out loud, say out loud what you're grateful for, what you're thankful for, what makes you happy. You know, if someone holds the door open for you, you can say how nice that was and you're thankful for that. If, you know, you're shopping at the grocery store and they happen to have like your most favorite item in stock that is not always there. Talk about what you're thankful for with that. Anything at all, you know, you're grateful for the beautiful flowers that are popping up in the spring. You're thankful for the blue sky or the sound of the rain, anything. And the simpler things that you can talk about and be grateful for, the better, the better, all right? So number two is to make a habit to ask your child what he or she is grateful for, right? What is making him or her happy? This is something that we do every day in my local preschool. And it's something that is a great habit to do. You know, some families like to do it um, at the dinner table or, you know, maybe you can do it at breakfast from the day before or maybe when they're going to bed at night. But talk about, draw attention to things that they are grateful for. And maybe you can both take turns, right? Saying some things that you're grateful for from that day or the day before. All right, number three is that you can volunteer places together. There's lots and lots of opportunities in our community to be able to do different things. If the kids are super young, you know, it can be just something as like making cards for, you know, a local um, nursing home or something like that. But there's lots of different ways that you can do nice things for others and when you're doing when when you're doing that together you can talk about you know that these people that you're doing them for they're they don't have particular items maybe or they don't have family or you know whatever they're struggling with in life so your child can realize that they don't have those exact problems and they can be grateful for the way that that their life is right especially like around the holiday times when we can get gifts for those christmas trees and things like that and to discuss that you know not every family and every child is as lucky as they are um so all right number three was to volunteer number four is to have daily gratitude habits so there's lots of different ways you can do this you can um you can have a journal where your child writes or draws pictures in every day. I actually have uh, on Amazon, there's a journal I've, I've made, it's called my happiness journal and I'll, I'll link below to that in case you wanna go and check that out. It's great for all sorts of ages of kids because they can either write or they can draw. But anyway, besides that, you can grab any kind of a journal and um, they can write if they're old enough. If they're not old enough, then they can tell you and you can write it down and maybe make a picture together. Or, you know, there's lots of other great fun things like making, um, if it's in the fall, making a gratitude tree. And, you know, every day they put a little leaf on the tree saying something that, that they're grateful for. And you can do lots of different versions of that. So just having daily gratitude habits. So it becomes a thing. It's just like part of their life. They're, they're grateful. They like to think about what's making them happy as opposed to just always thinking about what's hard, right? All right. And number five, Five is to let your child have the opportunity to earn things. Okay. So it doesn't have to be necessarily, you know, monetary, mon monetary, sorry, <laughs> it's been a long day, but it can even be like, you know, they get to um, have an extra story if they, you know, do something special for you, helping you know, sweep the kitchen floor or something like that. Many, like just different ways that they can earn things. You know, maybe if they want to play an extra game with you, what's something that they can do to help out so that you have that time for it. When kids are working towards things, it helps them to feel grateful and to be thankful for what they get, right? Because if things are just constantly handed to kids, they don't, they don't appreciate anything. There's going to be no gratitude. So you want to think about what, you know, depending on your child's age, what are things that they can do 
to be helpful to earn something that they want. It doesn't have to, like I said, it doesn't have to be a thing, but you know, if they're helping out then with something, then that frees you up for some more time to do something with them. And they'll appreciate that a lot more after they've had the chance to work for it and earn. All right, so let's review those five things. They're pretty simple things you can do to help raise more grateful children. Number one, be the example. Talk about what makes you happy, what you're grateful for. Number two, be sure to regularly ask your child what's making them happy. What are they grateful for? What's something that, that they're happy that they have in their life or they get to do? Number three is look for ways that you guys can volunteer together so your child has the opportunity to see what other people wish they had, right? And can see that their life is pretty darn amazing, even if they didn't get that favorite toy that they really wanted to target the other day and they had that big, huge tantrum, <laughs> okay? Number four is to get into some daily gratitude habits, whether it's a journal like my journal or any journal out there, or whether it's putting something up on the fridge where people add things that they're grateful for, all right? But just getting in so that becomes a part of their life, a part of their personality. And number five is allow them the opportunity to be responsible and to actually earn things. So then when they get to do it or they get those things, they are so thankful for it and they appreciate it as opposed to just always getting whatever they want when they want it, then they're just expecting whatever in life. And you know what, it ends up leaving kids feeling really empty inside. Think about a lot of the kids who grow up with like super millionaire, billionaire families and they end up like super depressed and unhappy because they don't feel like they have any purpose in life, right? So don't rob your kids of that, being able to feel like they have a purpose and feeling grateful for things that they get because they worked for them, they earned them. All right, anyway, all right, so be sure to practice those five things and help raise more kids who are grateful and thankful so we can have a better future and your children can grow up to be future leaders in our society, whatever they end up choosing to do. All right, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other videos that I have coming up. Like this video, give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful at all and come on over to you are my sunshine preschool.com for more great parenting and kids resources. All right. Have an awesome day. See you soon.